Cynthia jogs three kilometers per hour faster than Alan. In a race, Cynthia was able to jog 15 kilometers in the same time it took Alan to jog 10 kilometers. How fast were Cynthia and Alan jogging? In part A, fill in the table and derive an equation that can be used to solve this problem. Cynthia jogs 15 kilometers and Alan jogs 10 kilometers. Put these values in the distance column. Cynthia jogs 3 kilometers per hour faster than Alan. If we assign x to Alan's speed, then Cynthia's speed will be x plus 3. Put these values in the speed column. We fill in the time column by using the formula time equals distance over speed. The question specifies that Cynthia and Alan jogged for the same amount of time. This piece of information is the key to making the equation, set the times equal to each other. The equation is 15 over x plus 3 equals 10 over x. In part b, we'll solve the equation algebraically. Rewrite the equation we derived in part a. Cross multiply to get 15x equals 10 times x plus 3. Multiply 10 through the brackets. Subtract 10x from each side of the equation to get 5x equals 30. Divide both sides by 5 to get x equals 6. Bring back the completed chart from part A. Cynthia's speed is x plus 3. Plug in 6 for x to get 9. Alan's speed is x. Plug in 6 for x to get 6. Cynthia jogs at 9 km per hour, and Alan jogs at 6 km per hour. In part C, check your answer by either 1. Finding the point of intersection of two functions, or 2. Finding the x-intercepts of a single function. Rewrite the equation from part A. First, we'll find the point of intersection. Use the system of functions y1 equals 15 over x plus 3 and y2 equals 10 over x. Use your graphing calculator to draw the graphs. Use the intersect feature of your graphing calculator to get the point of intersection 6, 1.67. The solution to the equation is x equals 6. Next we'll find the x-intercepts. Set the equation equal to 0 to find the x-intercepts. The corresponding function is y equals 15 over x plus 3 minus 10 over x. Use your graphing calculator to draw the graph. Use the zero feature of your graphing calculator to get the x-intercept. The x-intercept is at 6, 0. The solution to the equation is x equals 6. If we plug in 6 for x, Cynthia's speed is 9 km per hour, and Alan's speed is 6 km per hour. This is the same result we obtained in Part B.